so it's mad early um in the morning it's 8 22 or 8 30 something like that i don't know let me see 8 30 i am so tired y'all like it's not even funny um <laughs> i'm like having massive allergies my hair looks kind of crazy because i didn't like really do anything to it so it's but we're about to get the scalp biopsy mike is here <laughs> he's off of school today um so he's here he's not gonna watch though so <laughs> like Again, there's nothing healing up in here, like in the scalp. And it's also traveling in here now. It's just a little bit scared. Wow, my hair looks really dry right now. <laughs> okay, so that's what it looks like. She did two of them right there. It looks pretty painful, but I don't really feel anything right now. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh, it's... That's it. <sighs> Gotta come back in like a week or so to get stitches out. So we are out. My God. Hey guys. Um, feeling okay, my ears are a bit weird. Like, um, they numb the area, obviously. And um, so I didn't really feel them take my skin okay but i like there was like a I, I could tell that they were doing something but i didn't like it wasn't like painful um but now like the lidocaine or whatever that she used is like traveling down my ear so this feels a little bit weird um but yeah it's just globbed up in vaseline um so yeah she took it right up in the spot that there's a big old hole y'all okay mm. y'all you know what i'm about to just go back to having the tapered up <laughs> having the tapered cut like micah we have his hair type is looser than mine but it behaves very similarly in a lot of ways so micah was there for support he didn't look at all i didn't <laughs> looking at uh we got some shoes he said here shopping for jordans okay i'm like what jordans, we not jordans? Well, what is jordans what is jordans <laughs> he's shopping for some jordans okay we buy them he gonna have to use his little his, his money from what he's got a whole bunch of like you know how he, okay they have like a stash from like years of like gifts and christmas uh, yeah. money and birthday money from forever ago and he just trying to use it up you better be wise you better be wise what <laughs> <laughs> real quick i forgot to mention um in the car that i did take my bonnets i took my bonnet i took my slip i took a scarf and like the satin scarf that I put underneath the scarf. Um, and she's like, you, you're not doing anything. Like, it's not that, <laughs> like, it's not that. Um, so I think I can just rest assured or be rest, a rest easy. What? I don't know what the saying is, um, that it's not from that. Okay. Um, I asked her like, do she think it could be like vitamin D or something like that? And she was like, I don't think it's like nutritional. And I'm not sure if I like 100% agree with that entirely. Last time I got a check was like back in 2018 or something. And it was like a 48%. And I don't know what the range was, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like horrible, but it wasn't like great either. Um, and that was a really long time ago. And I was outside more um, with baseball and everything like that than I am now. Um, so I think I might start some vitamin D. Um, just to see if that helps me out and yeah again i am on blood pressure medicine metaprololol um and it's a beta blocker and beta blockers are notorious for causing issues with hair loss right so either way we'll see what the biopsy says she says she wanted to start me on some steroid drops or something um but i didn't get them there i don't know if they're calling it into the pharmacy um whatever i don't really know i can't remember what she said it was for uh, maybe potential inflammation that I might have. Um, when she did look at my scalp, she said she didn't really see a lot of inflammation or anything like that, um, or any. And I even had her check in the middle back here where I have the notorious hole. Um, and she was like, oh yeah, you don't, you know, it, it's kind of like not there. And um, But she said she didn't see any inflammation back there either. So we'll just see what happens um, in a 
Okay, okay seriously, um, right after I recorded my, oh, sorry guys. <laughs> okay, seriously, right after I recorded that last clip that you just saw, this started to bleed, okay? I'm sorry, like, I don't want to, um, I don't want to gross anybody out. Oh, but it's like, it's like bleeding. Sorry, blood warning. Yeah. It just started to ooze out, and I don't know if it's supposed to do that or not. Um, I'm gonna have to call because I'm not sure if it's supposed to do that. She put stitches in there, and there's two. They're like right next to each other. But yeah, it definitely started to gush out. Um, I do have a headache. I've had a headache. <sighs> not that it's not the best time in the month for this but um I did have a headache and again I do have high blood pressure so I asked and mentioned that to her and she said it should be okay but yeah it's still bleeding it like dripped all down here y'all oh my gosh okay I'm back in the office but yeah you can see like it again it started to just like run down my uh forehead that's what it's looking like uh, i think i'm gonna give her a call I'll give them a call and see if it's supposed to be leaking okay because ain't nobody got time me and micah was gonna go get pick up some water ain't nobody got time to be at wigs and <laughs> gushing out the forehead okay okay so the nurse called back and she said um because the scalp is you know pretty she said vascular um, that it could be a bit oozy sometimes um, so I'm probably just bleeding through the stitches um, and to sit for 20 minutes with firm pressure on this and not to look at it for the next 20 minutes and um, try to just make sure that it doesn't bleed um, I also asked her like should it be stinging and stuff like that and she said typically when the numbing wears off um, you can feel a little like sensitive and she said you probably processed a bit faster than usual not surprised y'all um so that's why it's burning and stinging as early as it is because it hasn't been that long like i'm gonna sit here and hold this down and make sure it stops bleeding and uh she said if it doesn't if it continues to do that to just come back in and then it'll take a look to make sure that everything's um stitched properly so <laughs> pray for me y'all <laughs> I'm serious like I know I'm laughing but <sighs> seriously um God is good you know this is just the all things all things are happening for a reason and I'm not sure what you know to make of some of this stuff but I'm just going to take it as a test and just an opportunity to continue to trust the Lord and to just get stronger and to just persevere and um, everything is going to be okay. Like, it's going to be all right. I'm going to figure it out and it's going to be all right, you know? There is one thing that I keep forgetting to mention. I keep writing it in in the notes, um, like when I record, you know, when I post, um, I have a fibroid now. I've had it, I, well, I, we found out about it, I think in like 2021, and it is causing a host of issues. Um, I'm going to be getting that addressed very soon, hopefully. We're just trying to figure out what to do and how to proceed with that. It is a submucosal fibroid, um, and it's not very big, but the location of it is causing a pretty big, frustrating issue um I also have I deal with menorrhagia which is excessive bleeding with um, your monthly cycle and I've had that prior to having the fibroid um so it has just been a host of issues dealing with like blood um so I don't know <sighs> again with the whole iron situation I might not be getting enough nutrients i'm losing too much blood monthly and that could be contributing to my hair suffering um so again like i mentioned in the last video there is just so many things that i have to like <laughs> that i could talk about there's just it's, it's almost too many okay like i'm just been trying to like remove 
some of the stuff. So I keep forgetting to mention, this is bleeding through, yeah, it's starting to bleed through, um, that I am dealing with a submucosal fibroid as well. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully that'll be out of the picture soon and there'll be one less thing to deal with. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I am thrilled about any of this, you know? Uh, sometimes I feel like if I don't laugh about a situation or whatever, I don't wanna just have a meltdown, okay? Like literally just cry. Um, so I'm getting a little bit emotional right now. I'm not gonna cry on camera. I have done that. <laughs> Y'all done seen me cry several times, okay? I'm not doing that. Um, but yeah, again, God is good. He is in control. Um, hopefully, because I know I'm not the only one dealing with stuff like this, hopefully this is helpful in some sort of way. I know that this is not like a tutorial or a how-to or I, you know, I don't have any answers, right? But, you know, hopefully just sharing this can just kind of help connect with whoever else might be dealing with something similar or even if you know somebody who's dealing with something similar. And again, in God's time, everything is just gonna work out, right? So I just wanna sit here and try. I got 12 minutes, <laughs> 12 minutes to hold this thing down, this paper towel down. And then um, I'm gonna take a look at it and put some more Vaseline on it. Um, I, I don't know if I can clean out the, ex the excess blood that's kind of like dried up in there. Um, because like it's now kind of spread in like a circle, so it kind of looks like I got punched in the head. <laughs> um, but I, I'll assess and see if I feel like I want to go out um, with this because I can't really. I don't want to put like a scarf on or anything like that. You know, just I don't want to irritate the area. So I'll take a look at it and see what's going on. You all have been really helpful in a lot of ways over the years, like sharing tips and you know suggestions and stuff like that is so appreciated and you know i absolutely appreciate y'all i love y'all okay yes so <laughs> one day at a time one day at a time um things will get better um so i will probably update hopefully soon um yeah if I don't come back on here today, y'all have a blessed day and I will talk to you later. Take care.